In this video, you'll learn how to spell and pronounce the English short E sound. This is the sound in words like pet, special, enjoy, friend, bread, healthy, and said. You'll also learn how to distinguish it from the long A and short A sounds. Can you hear the difference between men, man, and main? How about bread, brad, and braid? If you can't hear the difference now, you'll be able to hear it by the end of this lesson. And make sure to watch till the very end to get in some practice with short E sentences. As with all short vowel sounds in English, it's generally easier to identify them since their spelling is more predictable. But the hard part is that some languages may not have equivalents for our English short vowels. So it may be difficult for you to hear them and distinguish them from other similar vowel sounds. You may confuse the short E with the vowel sound just below or just above it. So it may sound like a short A or a long A instead when you say it. Let's look at how the short E differs from other similar vowel sounds. Take a look at this drawing. I know it's not so pretty, but it'll give you an idea of the tongue placement for each of these sounds. Now let me explain. All three of these vowel sounds are front vowels. This means that the front of your tongue touches the inside of your bottom front teeth when you're pronouncing these sounds. Here. To pronounce the long A, your mouth is a bit more closed. Open it just a little bit to pronounce the short E and a little more to pronounce the short A. So the diagram roughly shows the tongue position for each of these three vowels. Now look carefully at my mouth as I pronounce each of those sounds. A, E, A. Notice how it gets a little bit bigger each time? Let me give you a side view as well. A, E, A. Another difference to note is the tension of the vowel. A is a tense vowel. You need to use the muscles of your mouth and your tongue more than you do for the relaxed vowels. A, A. Can you see the muscle tension in my face as I say that? A. And your muscles are more relaxed when you pronounce the short E and the short A. E, A. E, A. In addition, a is a blend of two sounds, a, whereas a and a are single vowel sounds. Listen again, a, e, a. If you'd like more practice with each of those, I have a video on both the long a and the short a that you might like to watch as well. Now let's test your ear to see if you can pick out the short e sound. I'm going to choose one of the three words in each of the following groups. And you tell me if you hear a short E or if you hear a different sound. Number one, men. Did you hear a short E? Yes, you did. That was the middle word. That was M-E-N, men. Now the second grouping of words. Do you hear a short E sound? Bat. Bat. No, that was not a short E. That was a short A sound. B-A-T. Now the third group. Pest. Short E? Pest. Yes, it was a short E. That was the middle word. P-E-S-T. Brad. Shorty? Brad. No, it was not. It was the third word, B-R-A-D. B-R-A-D, Brad, is a name. 
And the last grouping, aim. Shorty? Aim. No, it wasn't. It was a long A. It was the first one. A-I-M. Aim. So how did you do? Did you get most of them? If you didn't, if you're not hearing this clearly, go back and listen again until you start hearing it and distinguishing it from the others. Now let's focus specifically on the short E pronunciation. Remember, your mouth is open quite a bit for the short E. And your mouth and tongue are also relaxed. Look carefully at my mouth as I make this sound. Eh. Eh. Now you try it. Eh. Be careful not to open your mouth too much because that would be a short A sound instead. Notice a short A. Ah. And a short E. Eh. Ah. Eh. Do you see the difference? The short A has a larger mouth opening. Let's try the short E now in the sample words from the introduction. Pet. Special. Enjoy. Friend. Bread. Healthy. And fed. As I mentioned earlier in this video, spelling is usually fairly easy for short vowel sounds. They are most often spelled with just a single vowel letter within a syllable. And in this case, most short E's are spelled with a single E in a syllable. Examples include went, send, pencil, help, test, member, present, and yesterday. In these last three examples, you'll find that there's more than one E in each of these words. The one in red, which happens to be the first E in each of these words, is the one that has the short E sound. Now, short E is occasionally spelled E-A. Not very often, but occasionally. But especially when the E-A is followed by a D, a T-H, L-T-H, or S-U-R-E. And here are some examples of each of those. Bread, dead, head, ready, instead, read, the past tense of read, and led, the element. And then also in breath, death, feather, weather, and leather. And also in health, and wealthy. In measure, treasure, and pleasure, and weapon, and heaven. And here are a few exception spellings for the short E sound. These are very rare spellings for this sound. Just memorize these words and you'll be fine. The IE in friend and related words like friendly and girlfriend is pronounced eh. The AI in again, against, and said is pronounced eh. The A in any and related words like anything and anyone is pronounced eh. And finally, the U is silent in the words guess and guest, giving both of them a short E pronunciation. Now let's practice the short E in some sentences. If there is more than one E in a sentence, I've underlined in red the one with the short E pronunciation. Now again, as always, repeat after me and make sure that you're matching my intonation. So match my stress pattern, match my ups and downs and my pausing in addition to matching the E eh sound, the short E. So here goes, number one. She's the best president I can remember. Everything is already set for the event. My wealthy friend is a member of the men's club. Ten guests will attend the second event. Let me help you again when you get back.
That's it for the short E. I would highly recommend watching my videos on short A and long A for more practice differentiating between these similar sounds. And also for learning the typical spellings of each of these similar vowels. Don't forget to like and share my video. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.